Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're like me, a wife and three kids and a dog, and you're in that part of your life where you cannot have a two-seater Corvette, and you need to get your family around, standing behind me is the perfect vehicle for you gearheads out there. Not just your average Escalade that looks good and drives good and is comfortable, but the new Escalade V. <laughs> is Mr. Talley's 2023 Escalade V. Essentially, 6.2 liter pushrod engine, same transplant that came from the 19 ZR1 Corvette with a 2650 supercharger. The only small difference is when it comes to the fueling. This thing is direct injection only, whereas the 19 ZR1 had a direct injection for uh, normal driving around town and also had a set of port injectors as well for more fuel uh, because it made a little bit more horsepower than what these are rated at. But these over the LT4s have a larger DI injector in them. So this thing from the factory is already a monster from Cadillac. And I have to say so myself because my wife has one of these things and they are a blast to drive, super comfortable. Um, Mr. Tally, this is his daily driver and came to us first wanting more horsepower, just like all of us gearheads out there, we always want more, no matter how much it costs and how much horsepower it already makes. So we started off with just a cold air induction system by itself with no tuning. Uh, those of you that follow our channel or that know the GM and now Ford world with global B tuning, um, it is a little more expensive than your average little $500 tune to do these things. So we did a cold air only with no tune first. We probably did that maybe three months ago. And I think we saw roughly like 15 rear wheel horsepower gain. And again, it was awesome for what he was doing. Um, again, he didn't make it but three months and said, I want more. So he came back and what would be our stage one package is a cold air induction and an upper supercharger pulley. What that does, obviously we're spinning the supercharger harder to go from 10 pounds of boost to, I'll just say whatever number we want it to make with this supercharger efficiently. Um, in his case, he wanted something a little bit more than that. Like I say, guys, all of our packages are a starting point, um, but we can tweak it to your needs and goals. So on Mr. Tally's, we went ahead and also sent the supercharger to our good friend, Greg um, Kong, and he ported it for us. Y'all can see the inside. We did a fully ported, we call it like a race port to the supercharger system, as well as, if y'all can see how clean it looks on the inside, it's not just the snout that gets ported, the entire inside gets ported. Uh, super clean, it's all CNC, it's not done by hand or nothing crazy like we used to back in the day. And then also we changed the hub on it so we can change our pulley size. I'm gonna start off right now with his Escalade V with the stock size pulley, just to see where we're at with the numbers from just porting it um, with an air box. And then after that, we will turn the boost up to get, uh, I think, more gains. It is a fully ported LT5 supercharger just like we do our 19 ZR1s that make a thousand rear wheel horsepower all the time, but we kept stock manifolds, stock cats, stock mufflers on it. So this car literally idles and drives and sounds like a stock Escalade V. It is incredible. The only difference is now that we spin the supercharger harder, you hear that supercharger whine a little bit more. So this thing from the factory made 511 rear wheel horsepower. We put the SMB cold air, I think we're at right around 530 rear wheel horsepower. Now we are sitting over 650 rear wheel horsepower and over 650 rear wheel torque. I think it was like 655 and 660, somewhere in that range. And guys, it still has a stock throttle body on it. Um, we are in the process as we speak of making, uh, sorry, um, damn it, Jason, you have to cut that and start over. Um, so it still has the stock throttle body on it, guys, and we are in the process of making an adapter to allow for a larger throttle body to the supercharger. So when we port the superchargers, uh, whether it's an LT4 or the LT5s, uh, you, yes, you see more gains uh, even with the stock throttle body on it, 
but when you put a larger throttle body on it, whether it's a 103, 108, 112, 120, to get more airflow to the supercharger, that's where you really see the gains of porting the supercharger, as well as how hard you spin the supercharger. So in his case, we did see gains with it the way it is right now with the stock throttle body on it. But again, uh, once we have it where we, he can come back, hopefully in about a week or two, to test it with a larger throttle body, we'll share the results with you guys. And I do think we will see even more significant gains uh, when that day comes here in the near future. So looking at it, y'all see the beautiful Vossen 24 inch wheels on it. Uh, it's got the Nittos all the way around on it. To me, it looks like a performance SUV um, like Cadillac intended, um, just a little bit more aggressive. And now with around 100, and, I'll call it 150 rear wheel horsepower more than what it came from uh, Cadillac. So I'm gonna hop in it now and show you guys uh, kind of what this thing sounds like and drives like. I'll do try to do a couple of zero to 60s to give you an idea. And then uh, if I have enough time, I'll try to do like an eighth mile pull or maybe a quarter mile pull to let you guys uh, hear this thing wrapped out at uh, 100 plus miles an hour. We'll see. All right, guys, as I previously stated, this is our stage one package kind of with a twist with a ported supercharger on it. Um, do know that this is just like the 19ZR1. So for you owners out there that have an Escalade V and want more than this, know that we can build our 1,000 or 12 and a horsepower package just like we do our 19ZR1s. Uh, we've had two more recently come in. Uh, one's getting a cam package as we speak, and uh, another one is getting, I don't even know yet. But do know that there is other options out there besides just this. This is a good starting point for you guys out there that have one looking to mod it and get into it. Now let's go have fun. absolute monster and uh, Mr. Tally came to us first we did just a cold air intake just bolted it on no tuning um, because to tune these ECMs anything with the global B like the C8 in these it is pretty expensive so we did the cold air only on it um, he had fun with a little for a little while brought it back and that's when we decided to do what we call like our stage one package which is a cold air supercharger pulley and a tune and he went one step further and we went ahead and ported the supercharger as well. Um, and the gains were <laughs> pretty incredible um, and with room to go, um, which I might've already explained in this video, depending on where Jason cuts and puts this. Um, but from 511 rear wheel horsepower where it baselined to now over 650 rear wheel horsepower. And I think the torque was around 650 rear wheel torque. <laughs> truck an SUV that drives and sounds a hundred percent stock now with just a little bit more uh, supercharger wine because we're spinning the supercharger harder uh, absolutely incredible so I'm out logging it just kind of having fun uh, see if I can't get a couple runs in for you guys so y'all can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like um, and hear it from the inside as well as the outside and then of course I need to check my logs as well um, and his is a 23 with the mods we just said the TCM uh, we have not tuned the transmission yet so I do think um, if we drag it and we run like 0 to 60 in 8th mile and quarter mile times I know it will run quicker obviously than fact with the horsepower we gained but I think fine-tuning the transmission will help it that much better because 
I know from the factory these short shift pretty good. So if we can uh, tune the transmission and have it shift a little bit higher as well as a little bit firmer and a little bit quicker, I think uh, that's when we'll really see more of a drastic change uh, when it comes to uh, zero to sixties and eighth mile times and quarter mile times, stuff like that. I just turned traction control off. I'll leave Stabila track on. I have it in V mode and I'm just going to try uh, just foot braking it and see what it does. That way I can check the log after. drive guys these are like the TRX's that we have uh, that y'all see us build that just dead hook and go this is an all-wheel drive vehicle from Cadillac that thing just I mean I turned off traction control I stalled it to about 1800 and just stabbed it and it hooked and went I left the stability track on just trash control off and that felt pretty damn good um, I want to say they claim these things run I think 1270s in the quarter mile obviously that was probably in good weather and on a track I want to say the 0 to 60s they claim 4.5 something like that um, it looks like that pass was a 4.4 0 to 60 quarter miles like a, I can't tell if it's a 12.4 or a 12.5 free to hit us up as always fill out an inquiry on our website and uh, we'll kind of give you an, an idea of a starting point where our package starts off with and then we'll talk to you all about uh, your actual needs and goals for your vehicle to uh, make sure we point you in the right direction but something like this I call it our stage one just an air box upper pulley in a tune very simple mods um, for the horsepower you gain it's incredible and this thing drives like a factory escalate it is incredible till next time guys